All right, we're going to have more goose pimples because this next guy has an awesome story to tell. You have probably seen him before, maybe, if you pay attention. Sometimes he shows up in interesting costumes, and he's moving a lot on the corners, street corners. So I'm just going to leave it at that and hear this awesome story about Danny Hewitt. Thanks, Rich. I got to follow Sharice. That's going to be pretty crazy, so I'm ready when you are. My name is Danny Hewitt, and I'm the CEO of Hewitt Enterprises. I grew up here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I graduated from First Colonial, and this is my town, and uh, I love it very much. I'm going to tell you a little story about where I came from and why I get to stand up here today. Um, my mom and dad worked at H&R Block for about 12 years, and uh, thanks for the applause for that. Uh, my, my dad was a district manager. My mom was a tax repairer. They fell in love while they did that, and then uh, 1982, my family moved here, and we started a small business called Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. We had six stores. We uh, competed against H&R Block that had 9,000 locations. We had a vision of being the number one tax repair in the world, and that's what we really wanted to accomplish over the years. Things started going really well when Jackson Hewitt. In 1994, we had an a IPO public offer and very successful. And then in 1997, the original investors sold the company out from under our family. They sold it for $483 million. Our family only owned about 10%. But hold on a second. We wanted to be number one in the world, number one in the universe. So we started all over again in 1997 with a company called Liberty Tax Service. It was brand new. We had zero locations, and we wanted to compete one more time and try to start all over again. We knew that if we were going to compete, we're going to have to do things differently. We're going to have to stand out. We're going to have to have different things in our offices that were different than all the other competition around. It was very important for us to stand out and be different, as you've been able to tell. We knew that we needed to create an army, an army of ambassadors across the United States and Canada that were going to talk about our company and be in love with our company, as you can see them all across the country now, those green Statue of Liberty waivers waving at you when you drive by. Today, we have 10,000 waivers. We're in all 50 states. We're in all over Canada. We have people on every street corner. I personally have been on almost every street corner in a dress, in many dresses. Uh, but even the waiver didn't even see there. You can see one of my offices here. You wouldn't see the office, much less even see the waiver standing up there in an Uncle Sam uniform. Look at all the other items that we put into that location. Does this guy, when he opened up that office, let everybody know that he's there? This is Anchorage, Alaska. And in Anchorage, Alaska, when we open up a new store, we want to let, let everybody know there's another ch place to get your taxes done. We don't want to hide around in a, in a corner behind the walls. We want everybody to know that's there. We pay attention to all the little details, even the post up there where we painted red. I have a, a light on top that flickers around so that way people can see you, the flags on the roof. Whatever it takes to stand out, that's what we want to do to make sure that they know they can get a new choice in their taxes. This one's right here at Ward's Corner. You guys are probably familiar. Uh, Ward's Corner was the uh, birthplace of Jackson Hewitt. I was four, five, six years old running around over there. This is old Taco Bell location. When we put that up, do you think they knew that Liberty Tax was in town? This past year, we had 4,000 locations across the United States and Canada. This year, we just signed a new deal with Walmart. We'll be in over 300 locations for Walmart. We'll have almost 5,000 Liberty Tax locations. We came to compete one more time. Marketing is not about having a lot of money or having a large budget. If you're thinking about starting a business or getting involved, you need to think outside the box. You need to be unique. You need to be different. You need to be you. And when you're you, that's what really matters, and that's what people look for. When we started our original business in the 70s and 80s, marketing was different. There was only three TV stations back then. There was only one yellow pages. We all remember what the word said, let your fingers do the walking. One yellow book. How many people even had a personal computer back then? And then, bam, Al Gore invents the internet, and life changed, right? All of a sudden, information is at your fingertips. It's easy for you to grab. It's an impulse thing now, and, and life is not the same anymore. you got to be different. Old school marketing, TV, radio, yellow pages isn't the way and isn't the answer for you if you want to market your business. You need to be an impulse buy. You need to be the Netflix, the Redbox, the Hulus the Pandoras. You need to stand out and be in front of people's faces. Don't be afraid to stand out. This is your business. This is your life. Be different. This is what I do every single day. I love what I do. And uh, 
uh, Nike came out. This guy's got it right here. Just do it, right? And we came out with a new phrase, just hew it. Be different, stand out. Don't let the world pass you by. I just heard a lady that started a business at 61 years old. Huge round of applause for that. Life isn't over with. Give it what you got. I appreciate your time. This is my contact information. Thanks, Rich, for having me here. All right. I thought that was a story worth hearing.